So go ahead and state your name, major, and then how long you've been in the program. My name is Kylie Ann Futrell. I am a biomedical engineering major, and I've been in the program for, I guess, three, this is my third year. Okay, will you do that one more time? Okay. My name is Kylie Ann Futrell. I am a biomedical engineering major, and I have been in the program for three years. Okay, so why did you initially sign up for the program? Initially, it sounded like a fun opportunity, and I had met some of the previous LAs, and they seemed to really enjoy the program. So I was like, you know, this is a way for me to continue studying chemistry, but also to impact others and help students who are coming in directly from high school. It's such like a transformative time, and it's fun to work with them at this stage. And so I remember how much of a difference it was coming from high school to college and how much fun it was, and I just thought it would be great to be a part of that for other students as well. What have you learned through the program? I mean, off the top, it's just basically you have some strong foundations in chemistry and general chemistry specifically. Even applying to my applying the chemistry concepts I use every day teaching students applies to um, general engineering principles that I incorporate. And so it's been a great way for me to fall back onto that chemistry. But probably more importantly, I've learned so much more about people skills and how to talk to people and how to clearly state ideas and how to more effectively communicate because not every student is not the same. And you have to tailor your responses and how you help others to fit each student's individual needs. So what impact has the course had on your college experience? Well, like I said earlier, um, the course has definitely helped me academically overall because it has been a good solid foundation and it's even branched for, it's even become like a segue for me to get a chemistry minor, which is great. As a biomedical engineer, I can also kind of play in that chemical side. Um, but also it has shown me that there are other aspects of chemistry that you don't always like think of. Um, and for instance, teaching, I mean like that's very obviously what we do, but at the same time, there's different things we talk about in our morning meetings that spark interest in different subjects about chemistry, which is I think really awesome. So what do you plan on doing uh, after you finish college? After I finish college, I plan on taking a year off and probably working in industry. But then after that, I will pursue a post-grad program of some sort. I'm not sure. Medical school to, is kind of the main factor there, but I just definitely want to take a year off and um, step back and kind of relax and recharge my batteries. So what do you think are the benefits of the, the type of learning we use in the program for the students? Students definitely respond well to the interactive learning instead of having a teacher just talk to them and lecture them and um, try to cram information into their head. Students are actually using that information to um, build on it and to work with it so that then they actually understand it. Because if they don't use it in class, then there's no guarantee they're going to use it at home and they're going to understand that when they're doing their homework. And so by having students initially work with the material in class, um, it's not only is it more fun, it, but you definitely build a better foundation and it's a chance for them to kind of work out the initial kinks they have with different subjects. What is the most memorable experience with a student that you helped or whatever or impact that you had on them? I guess last year, last fall, I had a group of probably five or six guys that were in one of the classes that I was teaching in, and they were a riot. They were always wanting help, um, and it wasn't your typical type of guys that you would think wanted help. It was, they definitely had um, the cool effect, and they're like, oh, we're tough, we don't need help. But in all reality, I was like, guys, I have to go help other people. It's not all about y'all. And it's just so much fun because, I mean, I can think back and there's numerous occasions where um, we had, I mean, we were helping, but now I see them on campus and it was, it's fun because I'm like, oh, hey, how are y'all? And like, we have an actual conversation. So forming those relationships um, with that group of guys and getting to see them continue throughout um, class and then after class is great. Um, so that's probably been like 
my most memorable experience was just like getting to know different students, it's particularly like that group of guys. So how do you think your communication skills have uh, improved throughout you being a mentor? My communication skills have definitely improved just because, number one, I've become more confident and I will go up and talk to just about anybody. You can know everything there is to know about the world and I'll come up and still ask you questions or you might like look lost and I can still come up and ask you questions and you'll still have, you may still have an idea, but at the same time, I think the other part of the communication skills aspect is that you have to approach students and other people um, with respect and you have to come with them um, and not make them feel ashamed for wh where they come from. And so I guess becoming empathizing with them more has been a big issue for me instead of expecting students to know everything from the very get-go. Um, but overall, just being confident and not being afraid to go up and talk to different students and trying to figure out other ways to present information and to tailor your responses um, to their questions, to how different things can be applied, and to even um, stretching out the concepts to beyond just the classroom scope and to applying them to real life applications. So what do you think you've learned from the experience that you can use to carry over to your career? Definitely the communication. That's, we work with people every day. You can't get away from people. And um, if you can't work with people, then you're not gonna be successful. But at the same time, there's the academic side that I learned so much about chemistry um, and going forth, whether it be Gen, Gen Chem 1 or Gen Chem 2, I may not be entirely familiar with a gen, given situation, but I can, if I sit there and I kind of work through the situation, I can definitely understand the basis, which is really great. And it applies to so many other things than just Gen Chem 1. It's great, this one topic applies in the classroom to taking an exam, but how do we take that into real life? And so using basic principles to solve complex problems like in engineering has been so useful. Okay, those were all great. It was wonderful. Um, okay. What we, how much time do you have? Do you have five minutes? Yeah, sure. Okay. What we'd like to do is a lot of times the students will give us answers and we kind of treat those as like first draft answers and then we go through the questions one more time mm -hmm. and perhaps there were some issues that came to light that you would like to further illuminate or refine in your responses. Okay. And if you give the same response, then you give the same response okay. and we'll live with that. Okay. Uh, I was just thinking of the story that you had with the the hipsters that where you got them <laughs> a, a more engaged in the, we won't say hipsters, but of course that's who they are. Um, in, in the material, would you say that the Pogel method has helped engage the students in learning in a subject that they otherwise didn't have uh, a particular interest in or as an intense of an interest? Mm -hmm. Was that maybe the point of that story or or is it more a lot, because there's some, it's also seemed to be this, uh, that, and then it seemed to also give you confidence to engage with students regardless okay. of what uh, social milieu that they, okay. they emerge from. Okay. Would, do you think that was where the... I probably definitely like the um, teaching method because uh -huh. they were so much more engaged throughout uh -huh. the entire process. Um, the students had instead of just, like I said, sitting there and like listening to a professor can be boring at times. And so they took that method and they, they whenever with the flipped classroom, they definitely became more interactive and they worked with each other, which was great because generally they'd be on their phones chatting or sending Snapchats, but instead they started like working on the um, concepts in class and it grew to not only them helping each other, but the people around, that they, around them that they may not have known. Um, and then whenever they did have a question, they were definitely asked for help. And sometimes I was like, guys, y'all have enough help. Y'all can figure it out. And so it's also a thing you have to know when to limit your um, feedback because you don't want to give them so much feedback that you're spoon feeding them the information. Um, you want to make sure that they are getting challenged and that they learn the material, but then they have confidence within themselves because they actually figure it out. And that was just what was so great about that group of guys is each each one of them had a distinct time during the class in which they they did do all of these things and they were helping others and they were figuring things out for themselves and then um, were like, hey guys, look what I have and they would show off to everyone else, which 
you wouldn't expect looking at them. So that was probably my favorite thing, looking back on like the last three years of what we've done as a group and individually. That was great, thank you. Um, can we go ahead and just go through from the top just very quickly? Uh, well, do you, I mean, do you have class at Yeah. So she, yeah. Can yeah. we have you do her title yeah. just one more time? Yeah. 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 Okay, so name, major, and how long you've been in the program. Okay, my name is Kylie Ann Futrell, and I am a biomedical engineering major, and I've been in the program for three years. Wonderful. 